Welcome back guys, and in this video, I will be showcasing what is in my opinion the most broken deck currently for the global tournament right now that just started. Um, you know, it features the Goblin Giant, of course, and um, it also features, you know, the Evolution Archers with the Evolution Royal Recruits, because in this tournament, um, they are allowing two evolutions per deck, which is absolutely mind-blowing. <laughs> um, I just... I hope it doesn't come to like actual Path of Legends and stuff like that because um, they're just kind of like testing it at the moment but yeah it's definitely very crazy and let me know what deck you guys are using for the global tournaments but yeah this is definitely like the best one in my opinion because you could just cycle royal or yeah royal recruits in the back and um, you got the evolution archers which is probably like the most broken evolution at the moment so you can't really go wrong and obviously you know with the goblin giant plus the rage combo it just it gets way too overwhelming for the opponent to defend it pretty much so yeah um this actually might be towered down already i'm just gonna go for a rage for the goblin giant and um yeah this is looking phenomenal already so um uh okay he has to go free log as well and look at my goblin giant and that should be tower down so perfect so there's tower down already um and i have incredible defense with the fisherman too and like the little prince with the ability so um yeah i can't really ask for a much better start he's going for a hard rider but that does not matter because i have the fisherman and i have a couple archers so that's not going to get any damage right there um and yeah so this deck is just unbelievable i'm going to go for a fireball there's like another variation you guys can play too that has elixir pump. Um, I forgot exactly which card is like subbed out for it, but uh, yeah, I guess it's just like personal preference. I'm gonna go for recruits right here. He's going for a hog rider plus an earthquake that is so bad, plus a firecracker. Yeah, this guy just loses. He actually might get three found right here. He has like no elixir anymore. I'm gonna go for a rage right here for all this stuff and um i'm just gonna give the good game because he can't defend this bro there's no way he's defending this so um yeah really good game right there let's jump for the next match here's the next match and um i'm gonna go for some recruits in the back because i get that free cycle pretty much i get the free recruits i'm gonna go for some goblins right here and that should be a pretty good defense in the bag so he's going for a bomb tower okay I think right here, um, I'm kind of just going to reset a little bit. I don't really want to push with that. I wish I had a fireball because I would fireball that bomb tower plus the archers. But unfortunately, I do not have that in my hand at the moment. So I'm just going to split archers in the back. Just kind of get to my evolved archers. And yeah, so I'm going to go for a fisherman in the middle as well. He's going for a miner, so that's totally fine, right? That is totally fine. I think right here, I could just, you know, set up with a like goblin giant in the back. And he's going for a log, so this is technically like a 4 elixir goblin giant now. And yeah, so that's kind of how I see it. He has mighty miner though. So that's going to be a little annoying. So I'm just going to go for some recruits. That should clean up the wall breakers. No way. No way, bro. <laughs> that is so messed up. Okay. Well, wow, that's a little unfortunate, not going to lie to you. Um, But it is what it is, I guess. So, yeah. Um... My recruits are doing a ton of damage on the right hand lane though, so that's really good for me. Um, yeah, he's going for a miner. Okay, I'm definitely going to take a fireball right there for those wall breakers plus the archers. So, um, yeah, let's see here. I do have a little prince coming down the lane, but I don't really want to pop the ability. I would rather save it for like cycling like my archers and my recruits to get to the evos quicker pretty much. So, I'm going to do that right now. And uh, yeah, so... Let's see here. Um, kind of curious to see what he wants to do. I have a good damage lead. I'm just going to cycle goblins. Okay, there's his evolved archers. So I'm gonna go for recruits in the back here, and I gotta try to find a way to like. Okay, he's splitting skeletons in the back. I'm gonna go for a rage right here, and I'm going to go for a fireball for the other lane. And yeah, so I think right here. I kind of just want to go for like a little prince in the back so i'll just do that right now just get a good defense going and my little prince will take care of that miner i'm gonna go for a goblin giant opposite lane and not gonna lie to you guys 
This is actually going to look really nice. I'm going to pop the ability for the wall breakers. That was a perfect ability, bro. That was actually perfect. I really don't see how this guy is going to um, defend this push now. So I'm going to go for some recruits right here. I'm going to go for a rage. And um, yeah, good luck defending this. <laughs> um, and yeah, look, just look at that, bro. There's nothing he can do anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh, this deck is so broken, dude. I'm telling you. It's not fair, dude. It is not fair. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump for the next match. Here's the next match. And um, <clears throat> let's see. So I'm going to go for some archers in the back. He's going for a musketeer. So I think right here I want to go for a little prince in the back as well. And then I want to play recruits at the bridge when that musketeer kind of pushes a little bit more forward. Um, so yeah. Because it's more of like a risky play if you play something when the musketeer is kind of like further back there. Because they have a better chance of like protecting it and stuff like that. So yeah. He's going for another musketeer. Um, and a fire spirit. Okay, so... Let me see here. I think I can just kind of wait a little bit and then just kind of go for a fisherman. And, yeah, so... Okay, he's going for a hog rider. I'm gonna go for some archers right here. And that fisherman does pull the musketeer, which is pretty nice for me, I guess. So, yeah. I think right here, I kind of just want to reset a little bit. Kind of want to see what he wants to do for this, like, mini push. Okay, yeah, he's just going for a log. Good play. Good play right there. He's going for skeletons. I think I can just go for a goblin giant because he does not have hog rider in rotation, so he can't punish me. And yeah, so I can also probably like build a really good recruits push right here. So he's going for a musketeer in the back. I could just go for some recruits right here, and I'm okay. Yeah, I'm like definitely going to pop a rage right here, so that should be really nice. And um, he shouldn't be able to defend this. Oh, okay, maybe, okay, maybe he will, bro. Okay, the skeletons are just going absolutely crazy. That's a little unfortunate, not gonna lie to you. Wow, um, I don't think I need to play for those skeletons, so I'm just gonna let them go. Um, and yeah, I'll just go for a little prince right here in the back. And, um, let me see, I just gotta kind of repeat the process next time, if I know he has, like, Evo skeletons in hand. I just gotta save my rage and kind of just time it properly, I guess. So those skeletons won't ramp up pretty much. So I think right here I could just go for some recruits. And uh, he's going for a fire spirit. I think I could just cycle some archers in the middle right here. And I'm gonna go for a fisherman. Maybe a little bit of a misplay on my end because I, I'm gonna give him really good fireball value. So, um, okay, at least he doesn't hit the fisherman, I guess. I'm gonna go for a little prince in the back because he just used fireball, so it's a pretty good play in general. I'm gonna go for a goblin giant opposite lane right here, and I do have my evolved royal recruits in hand, which is um really really good for me. So this push should be good, and I'm also gonna make sure I like play my rage when he plays his evolved skeletons pretty much. So I'm gonna split my archers, and um yeah. So let me see here. Okay, okay. Well, those just went down immediately this time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't think you'll be able to defend this anymore, so that is basically how you play this deck, guys. <laughs> um, and yeah, just have some crazy dueling pressuring, pretty much. That's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll do more next time.